Don't go. Please. I visited Teddy today at St. Vincent's. It's very depressing. He's lying there in bed, out of it. He's been out of it since the time we saw him. Not in any pain. Snorting his imaginary cocaine. Doing his poppers. Sometimes he's washing his mother's floor. And he's speaking to her in Spanish. Sometimes he's having sex. You can see him having sex right in front of you. He doesn't even know you're there. Jimmy died, as you must have heard. I went out to San Francisco to be with him the last few weeks. You must have heard that, too. He was in a coma for a month. Everybody wanted to pull the plug, but they were afraid of legal complications. So I held his hand. He couldn't talk, but I could see his eyelids flutter. I swear he knew I was with him. Harry has KS. <laughs> Matt has the swollen glands. He went in for tests today. I haven't slept well in weeks. Every morning I examine my body for swellings, marks. I'm, I'm terrified of every pimple, every rash. If I cough, I think of Teddy. I wish he would die. He is dead. He might as well be. Why can't he die? I feel the disease closing in on me. All my activities are life and death. Keep up my blue cross, up my reps, eat my vegetables. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so frightened, I go back on my resolutions. I drink too much, I smoke a joint, and I find myself in the bars and the clubs where I stand around and watch. I'm very frightened, and I miss you. Well, say something, damn it. I have it.